hi all of you back with another video and in this video i am going to show you for loop and some more loops related to for in this video okay so let's get start and let's make a new file first before starting my video this is my 38th video okay so now it's time to make hash 38th dot html okay 38th dot html not th let me remove this yeah 38 dot html now it's time to insert a boilerplate and now let me first open uh do this toggle word wrap yeah so now uh, it's time to write script here i always write here script and um, i am excited to share you all that uh, uh, my JavaScript is ending in two three days and I will be starting my new project which will include HTML CSS and JavaScript three of them and it will be like a really flagship project to add in your resume as well as to add in your github and after uh, making some projects on JavaScript uh, HTML plus CSS I will be teaching you all git and github what is the git and github and how to uh, how to like upload your code on github okay so let's get start first let me uh, make a for loop for you all okay for so let me show you like if i am taking an example like i is equal to zero now you don't you you not have to write a comma here you have to write a semicolon so first step is your i is equal to zero which means you are uh, initializing a variable let me write here let okay let because you all know i always use uh, let instead of where from my previous videos okay so now it's time to give a condition like i is uh, uh, like uh, less than let me do less than less than which for three okay now it's time to add semicolon again and here you can uh, write like uh, you want to increment or you want to decrement like i want to increment now your for loop is created now you have to start your curly braces which means your scope of this variable is only uh, inside this okay so so let me write like uh, let me write console dot log okay and uh, here like I want to print i okay so let me show you how it looks so now as you can see that 0 1 2 3 are printed why why only these number are printed why not 3 4 5 why because your i is 0 let me open my uh, like where is my microsoft uh, whiteboard let me open that to explain you okay let me write your condition your i is 0 okay and your i is smaller than 3 which is true right now and your i is plus plus what that means so let me uh, dry run for you i is equal right now which is true so i is equal i is uh, less than 3 okay yeah, yes it is less than 3 less than 3 okay so your condition is but true so now you have to plus i plus plus means uh plus one plus one in i okay which means your number is now what is no number your number is now zero but your after incrementing your number your number is now one because one is added okay now again one your i is one i is less than three yes it is less than three okay which is true so now you have to again increment your number and print it so let me write print here let me write p here is your p which means you are printing okay so your i is 1 which is less than 3 which is yes true now again increment that number so 1 plus 1 is now 2 okay so after that it will check again uh, now your 1 is printed and 0 is already printed okay so now i is 2 now i is less than 3 which is true yes it is less than 3 and now here your uh, condition will again follow 
प्लस वन टू प्लस वन इज क्योर थ्री सो योर टू इज ऑल्सो प्रिंटेड विच मीन्स दीज नंबर आर प्रिंटेड ओके दीज वन फ्रॉम हियर लेट मी राइट फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर नाउ आर नाउ प्रिंटेड बट वेन इज वेन इट वेन योर आई बिकम्स थ्री सो योर थ्री इज लेस दैन थ्री थ्री इज लेस दैन थ्री नो थ्री इज इक्वल टू थ्री ओके थ्री इज नॉट लेस दैन थ्री ओके सो नाउ इट इज योर फॉल्स एंड इफ यू योर कंडीशन गोज फॉल्स इट विल नॉट इंक्रीमेंट ओके दैट इज योर कंडीशन सो योर लूप एंड एंड ओनली दीज नंबर आर प्रिंटेड ओके सो दैट्स वाई इट इज शोइंग ओनली जीरो वन टू एंड टू ओके सो एज यू कैन सी योर ओन दिस इज ओनली शोइंग जीरो वन एंड टू ओके लेट मी शो यू इन अनदर वे लाइक लेट मी सो एडिंग कमेंट्स इज ऑल्सो ए यू कैन से दैट अ गुड प्रैक्टिस ओके एंड यू हैव टू फॉलो इट फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स इफ यू आर लर्निंग दिस ओके एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इट इज नॉट अबाउट वेब डेवलपमेंट यू आर लर्निंग एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो लेट मी आई थिंक कमेंट इट होल कमेंट इट ओके वाई बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू लाइक लेट मी गो हियर फॉर ओके फॉर लूप इन or you can say using array okay so how to create array how to create an array as you all know very well uh, let me just uh, do it like this okay now how to create an array let me write like as you all already know most of guys that i always take uh, this variable i always create value variables of Uh, cars so let me create like uh, i am taking variable like okay G gtr okay now again uh wait a minute i think i did a mistake yeah so now i uh, let me write bmw m5 okay now again uh, another one like uh, what can i write like uh, Uh, GTR is there. Bin blam five. Now I think uh, Hellcat. Okay, Hellcat is I think a good one. Now uh, any one more. I am taking only four cars for now. Uh, which can I add in my collection? Like like Kali Denali. Okay, that is one of my favorite car. So let me just. Uh, how to use for loop okay if you write like here like for like for and don't click on this one okay if you click on this for so you can see uh, this is automatically created by vs code okay so let me instead of index you can write like only i okay you can write only i and uh, instead of array you can write like uh, what is my array name cars okay cars i will do here also cars okay cars and uh, let me just do one thing more uh let me do one st one thing more like i can uh, do like this uh console dot log okay console dot log uh and uh, let me remove this as well yeah let me i think i am now uh yeah i think i have created a right syntax so this is your condition i is equal to 0 i is less than car's length what is the length of car 1 2 3 4 as i already showed you in my previous videos okay so there is no need to uh, explain what is this dot length okay and i plus plus uh, you already know what is i plus plus and uh, here printing console dot log cars and your i okay so let me uh, run it as well so there is i think there is a need of a refresh let me do refresh you can see that uh, gtr bmw m5 hellcat kali denali is only printing why uh, it is only printing because your condition is only uh, your condition is only uh, getting true 
in that like your first one is your i is equal to what is your i i is your zero okay and this is your four so it will go still four okay and also your array contains four so it will goes uh, till your fourth now i think there is no need to explain more you all guys are uh, intelligent more than me <laughs> okay so let me comment it as well now i want to uh, show you another uh, type of let me create a like a, like a, another variable like saite which is my name okay saite is equal to i am creating an object for you all like name name is like i can take like vasu in inverted commas okay now don't use semicolon this is your object okay now age you can write like uh, wait a minute yeah it is sorry age is your this okay now uh, like salary okay you can write anything i'm just writing by myself like 1110k okay if you want to write like k so it will give error you can write like giving plus and now in in inverted commas you can write like this okay so use your brain while doing that stuff okay a name is salary and uh, location you can say okay location is your like uh, like uh, anything what amsterdam amsterdam is great place okay amsterdam and uh, what what is left name is salary location and uh, yeah i think this this is enough for for me okay so if i want to use this information in my for loop what i can do like i can do like this a uh, for you can do like this for in you can use this information okay for in okay now you can see that this is key uh let me uh it is a kind of confusing okay let me create by myself like for and you can use like key in what is the key in a uh, element key in element or just element uh let me see the syntax first let me see syntax i think i got it for okay i was confused uh, in that syntax like key what is key i already told you in my uh, this object video this is these are your key and these are your value of that key okay so key in your your variable name what is my variable name now you can see here this is my variable name okay so key in this and now from here you can start your uh for loop now you can write like console dot log okay and from here you can do like i am using now backtip so why i am using backtip i just want to show you like uh, uh my name is this my age is this my salary is this my location is yeah i think this is good my let me write like this my name okay my name is use dollar and key okay this key so it will print your this key and if i want to print this key okay how can i do that as well let me show you uh, my name is key and uh, you can use like my not my name is key <laughs> my name is uh, this let me do one thing uh, i am writing wrong let me uh, do it because this is my key my name name is this okay this is key after that i will write like this my name is and my second key how can i write dollar where is my dollar this there it is and here like uh, how can i write element not element i want to write like this my uh, variable name site and here like uh, key okay i can write here like key uh, 
uh, I think my name is this yeah I think this is good let me uh, let me uh, close this back with the back tip as well uh, wait a minute what is the problem yeah I want to uh, do like here use here back tip yeah now it is good now I just want to show you uh, why it is creating an error uh, this is starting here and ending here let me I think it is creating mess it is also not creating mess so what is the problem here this this one is started here uh, okay 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 that is good that is really great let me just yeah so now this is uh, close here now this is close here now this is close here I don't know that uh, okay I got it semicolon no it is also now also showing error uh, what is the problem why it is uh, creating mess um, I think I do I want to uh, delete th these both now you can see my error is gone so sometimes it happens so you have to configure it by yourself okay now let me show you that how your uh, this is looking your uh, this one this for loop is looking so I think I have to uh, refresh so you can see that my name is this my age is this my salary is this and my location is this so uh, that's how you can also make a for loop okay and uh, just yeah just try by yourself and I think these uh, these two ways of creating for loop is enough for you and the rest of them if needed I will show you in my project in my upcoming project and uh, yeah that's about it that's about for today and in the next video I will be showing you do while loop and also while loop uh, those are also really really simple and uh, you will be learning them soon okay so yeah I think this, this is the time for ending this video and I will be meeting you in my next video oh, no!